Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episodes 5, Lin Dong Borrowing the Zither Would it be possible to borrow your Sky Hall's Heavenly Phoenix Zither for a few days? When Lin Dong made his request, a few shades of embarrassment appeared on his face. In fact, after he saw a tinge of bewilderment flash across that young lady's charming face, he felt even more embarrassed. You are saying, that you want to borrow the Heavenly Phoenix Zither? Ying Huan Wan involuntarily raised her brows. With regards to Lin Dong's request, she naturally felt extremely surprised. After all, she knew how precious a pure Yuan treasure was and it was an object that even some Sky Hall disciples could not look at. However, Lin Dong actually wanted to borrow. If it was another person making this request, she would have most likely asked him to dream on. Yes. Lin Dong summoned his courage and nodded. Looking at that young lady's knitted brows and her bright and beautiful eyes, he could not help but laugh bitterly before saying, I urgently require that item. Senior teacher Uncle Chi Lei will not agree. The Heavenly Phoenix Zither is a precious treasure of the Sky Hall after all. At time, even if a sect elder wished to borrow it, senior teacher Uncle Chi Lei would not agree. Ying Huan Wan said after pondering for a while with knitted eyebrows. Therefore, I can only ask this of you. Lin Dong said in an awkward manner. You want me to help you to obtain it through the back door? The young lady replied as she gently raised her beautiful face. As sunlight shone down from above, it formed a halo that was akin to a beeswax candle glow around her, causing the young lady to look especially alluring. But, why should I be so kind to you? The young lady twirled a lock of her fine black hair with her jade-like hands, before smiling sweetly at Lin Dong and asked in an innocent and puzzled manner. Facing the young lady's gifted gab, Lin Dong found it hard to manage and could only helpless reply, I've helped your elder sister to obtain the commanding authority. That should count for something, right? Hmm. Ying Huan Wan muttered as she earnestly pondered for a while before nodding her head and saying in an absent-minded manner, However, I recall a certain boorish and rude fellow during the hall competition. Therefore, your small contribution is only enough for me to forgive your behavior during the hall competition. With the matter of little flame hanging in his heart, and after being provoked by Ying Huan Wan for a few times, a small bit of anger unknowingly sprouted within Lin Dong's heart. He frowned and was just about to lose his temper, but managed to forcibly suppress it in the end. After all, Ying Huan Wan did not owe him anything. Moreover, his request was truly a little overboard. When his thoughts reached such a point, Lin Dong could not help but to feel his interest waning. It seemed like he would have to think of another way to resolve this issue. Hey, are you mad? When she saw Lin Dong's expression change, the playful expression on Ying Huan Wan's beautiful face receded somewhat as she asked cautiously. No. Lin Dong forced a smile and shook his head, before replying, Never mind, I'll not trouble you anymore. I will think of another way. I never said I will not help you. Moreover, why doesn't your face show even a hint taking offense? You're a grown man, however, your identity is completely at odd with your the way you speak. Muttered Ying Huan Wan. However, her big eyes involuntarily still glanced at Lin Dong's expression. It's not like I refuse to help you. And look at that face of yours, it's as if you aren't concerned about it? How can a man like you go back on his word? You have a way? Lin Dong awkwardly shrugged before asking. Ying Huan Wan's jet black eyes seemed to rotate a little, before she waved at Lin Dong, follow me. After which, she turned around and swiftly floated away like a butterfly. Lin Dong hesitated for a moment, before quickly following behind. The two of them rapidly shuttled within the gigantic Sky Hall. After 10 over minutes, they had obviously entered the inner regions of Sky Hall. At this area, the security was very tight. However, with Ying Huan Wan leading the way, the two of them were not stopped. We've arrived said Ying Huan Wan, before she suddenly stopped in front of an extensive and best hall. Present was a layer of light that was shaped like a bowl, which enveloped the entire great hall within. Lin Dong looked at the light barrier in front of him. From it, he was able to sense a frightening fluctuation. It seems like this great hall must be an important place in Sky Hall. Else, there would be no need for such a valiant protection. With a wave of her jade-like hand, a piece of white jade flew out from her palm. When it touched the light barrier, it immediately provoked a violent reaction from the ladder. Finally, after the ripples spread, it turning into a light door. Let's go. Ying Huan Wan carefully and cautiously looked at her surroundings before scuttling into the light barrier. Pushing open the big doors of the Great Hall, she proceeded to walk in. Behind her, Lin Dong was also closely following her every step of the way. 
The Great Halls was extremely vast and there were quite a few gigantic pillars within it. The surface of those pillars were filled with abstruse runes, which faintly resembled a giant array. Lin Dong's gaze swept across the interior of the Great Hall for a round before suddenly congealing in the middle of the Great Hall. At that spot, stood a pillar of jade, and on top of it, sat a fiery red zither. Present on the surface of the zither were pictures of phoenixes flapping their wings. From afar, it looked like the wings were oscillating, similar to a seedling of fire in ascension. A frightening fluctuation slowly radiated out from within it, causing traces of spatial distortion in the surrounding space. Is that the heavenly phoenix zither? Asked Lin Dong as his eyes continued to fixate on the fiery red zither. There was a tinge of joy in his eyes that could not be concealed. After all, only a pure Yuan treasure could give off such a frightening fluctuation. Yes. Ying Huan Wan replied while nodding her head before continuing, we can secretly take it away and return it after we are done. Steal it? Lin Dong was shocked. Don't tell me you really want to ask senior teacher Uncle Chile for permission? There is no way he would agree. Even if you ask my father to plead on your behalf, it would still be of no use. Ying Huan Wan rolled her eyes at Lin Dong before waving her jade-like hand. Curling her lips, she said, relax, if we run into any problems, I will shoulder it. I don't want somebody to lose his temper again. Lin Dong was now completely filled with embarrassment. He could only laugh bitterly while shaking his head. Finally, he told her sincerely, thank you. There's no need. Hearing his words, Ying Huan Wan beamed like a little fox. Typically, Lin Dong always had a devil-may-care attitude. However, he had revealed his helpless expression a couple of times in front of her today. While she was smiling, Ying Huan Wan faintly tilted her head and used her bright and big eyes to stare at Lin Dong before saying, Furthermore, elder sister asked me to tell this to you. She said that at the moment when you took the initiative to hand over the commanding authority, you looked utterly dazzling. I'm not good with that. If I kept it, I might recklessly use it and mislead all those seniors and juniors. Senior sister Xiao Xiao is much better in that aspect. Thus, that position should naturally belong to those who deserve it, said Lin Dong with a smile. Ying Huan Wan pursed her lip and smiled, before extending her jade-like hands and suddenly forming a seal. In the next moment, the heavenly phoenix zither floated from the stone pillar before finally descending in her arms. Let's leave and return quickly, said Ying Huan Wan as she smiled while hugging the heavenly phoenix zither. Er, are you coming along as well? Lin Dong looked at the young lady in astonishment before he involuntarily asked. Although I don't know why you need the heavenly phoenix zither, but let me tell you this. I am the next owner of the Heavenly Phoenix Zither. Therefore, the only person that can control it would be me. Unless that person is powerful enough to erase away the mark left by my father within. Replied Ying Huan Wan as she grinned and stared at Lin Dong while hugging the Heavenly Phoenix Zither. Lin Dong was completely speechless. At Little Martin's current strength, it was obviously that he would not be able to erase the mark left by Ying Xuanzi. Do you have any more questions? Asked Ying Huan Wan with a beautiful smile as she tilted her head and looked at Lin Dong who had already shriveled up countless times in front of her. Nothing. Lin Dong hesitated for a while before finally giving a bitter laugh and nodded his head. As he turned around and left the Great Hall, Ying Huan Wan looked at his back before a cunning glint flashed across her big eyes. After this, she leisurely followed behind him. After the two of them left, the Great Hall was once again silent. A few minutes later, the space above a stone pillar started to squirm before two figures slowly appeared. From their appearances, they were precisely Ying Xuanzi and Sky Hall Hall Master, Chile. That lass. Chile looked down at that empty stone pillar before his face twitched. Finally, he involuntarily blurted out, Sect Master, are we just going to allow two juniors to take the Heavenly Phoenix zither out of Dao's sect? Relax, have some confidence in them. Just treat it as if they are going out to train for once. Moreover, there is a brand on the Heavenly Phoenix zither. If a major accident occurs, I will be able to detect it," said Ying Xuanzi as he faintly smiled. Hearing what Ying Xuanzi said, Chile could only nod his head. Promptly, he didn't know whether to laugh or to cry as he said, that last Wan Wan, she is a disciple of our Sky Hall. Yet, she actually helped Lin Dong to steal a treasure from her own house. What is going on? It seems like that last. Ying Xuanzi gave a faint smile. However, he did not say anything more about this topic. With a wave of his sleeve, the two of them once again slowly disappeared from the top of the stone pillar. On outskirts of the sect, at the edge of the sect protection greater a light barrier, there was a sudden ripple as two figures secretly sneaked out from within. Hugging the fiery red heavenly phoenix zither while her big eyes surveyed her surroundings, Ying Huan Wan grinned and said, he he, we were actually able to leave undiscovered. 
In contrast to Ying Huanwan's optimistic attitude, Lin Dong started to wrinkle his brows. He was cautious by nature. Hence, he naturally found it incredulous that they were actually able to steal a pure Yuan treasure and still swagger out of Dao sect, which was heavily fortified and filled with countless experts. Moreover, they were not caught by a single person. Could it be that all the old fellows in Dao sect were asleep? Evidently, there was no way those old fellows would all be asleep. Therefore, Lin Dong did not believe that their actions had gone undetected. Rather, someone should have likely realized what happened. However, they chose not to stop them. Reflecting on this point, Lin Dong secretly rejoiced in his heart. It was fortunate that he had brought Ying Huan Wan along. Given her status and background in Dao sect, perhaps those old fellows might be willing to look the other way. Naturally within all of this, Ying Xuanzi's influence must not be discounted. Secretly heaving a sigh of relief, Lin Dong turned around, faced Dao sect and respectfully saluted. Upon seeing his action, Ying Huan Wan gucked first, before sticking out her tongue. It seems like she understood the reason behind his actions. After saluting, he turned around again. Promptly, his body faintly trembled before a pair of green dragon wings stretched out from his back. With a flap, huge gales followed. Come here, said Lin Dong as he looked at Ying Huan Wan and extended his hands towards her. Why? Ying Huan Wan hugged the heavenly phoenix zither and walked over with some suspicion. In the next moment, she turned somewhat panicky when she saw that Lin Dong had unexpectedly extended his hands and embraced her slender waist. Ying Huan Wan seemingly jumped in fright due to Lin Dong's actions. Only when his manly scent assaulted her senses, did she finally regain her clarity. Immediately, she used the heavenly phoenix zither to shield her body while she stared at Lin Dong with a boiling red expression on her face. I am much faster so it would be best if I carried you directly. It is a long distance away from Thousand Beast Mountain Range to Dao Sect, said Lin Dong as he looked slightly helplessly at the young lady with a reddened face. Ying Huan Wan's big eyes stared at Lin Dong, seemingly wanting to detect any malicious intent within his eyes. However, in the end, she did not discover any malicious intent as she only saw the helplessness brimming within his eyes. If you dare to mess around, I'll take the Heavenly Phoenix zither and return to Dao Sect, mumbled Ying Huan Wan in a low voice. Relax. I have no interest in a silly little girl like you," replied Lin Dong as he rolled his eyes towards her. Without saying any more nonsense, he wrapped her up in his embrace. With a flap of his green dragon wings, they turned into a flash of light before they flew off. Miss, are you a dog? Why are you biting me? That's for speaking nonsense. You are the silly little girl. As the flash of light shot into the distance, a indistinct overbearing voice of a young lady transmitted across the skies. The Thousand Beasts mountain range was situated in the southern part of Eastern Chuan region. It required approximately half a month's time to travel from Dao Sect to that region. However, as Lin Dong's current speed had undoubtedly increased substantially, they barely took a week before the vast and extensive mountain range appeared in front of their eyes. As the name implied, the Thousand Beasts mountain range was the gathering point for demonic beasts. Although the number of demonic beasts was not as terrifying as those in the Demon City, there were also numerous powerful and formidable demonic beasts strongholds scattered across Eastern Chuan region. This Thousand Beasts mountain range was one of them. It was said that this mountain range was never lacking in strong demonic beasts at profound life stage. Those beings were able to take on human form and possess intelligence that rivaled humans. Hence, most ordinary individuals would not dare to provoke them. As Lin Dong gradually approached the enormous Thousand Beasts mountain range, he was able to feel the demonic spirit brand left within his body by Little Martin, starting to radiate a faint vibration. Chi. Lin Dong could feel the direction indicated by the fluctuation from the demonic spirit brand. With a flap of his dragon wings, he shot towards it. After close to 10 minutes, his pupils hardened when he finally spotted two familiar figures, that he had not seen for a long time, on a mountaintop in the far distance. Big Brother. Before Lin Dong started to descend on the mountain peak, a figure that was sturdy like an iron tower, stood up impatiently before his vigorous voice transmitted like muffled thunder from the distance. With Ying Huan Wan in his arms, Lin Dong flew towards the mountain peak before he placed her down. Staring in front of him, he saw two figures standing upright. The person on the left was a man dressed in green robe with a bewitching and handsome appearance. At the moment, he still had his familiar lazy expression on his face. However, when he glanced at Lin Dong, Lin Dong could detect a twinkle in his eye. The figure beside Little Martin was the enormous and extremely visually impactful Little Flame. There were quite a few crisscrossed eye-piercing scars and bruises on his body as compared to before. These few scars and bruises faintly added a malevolent and fiendish aura to Little Flame. 
If he restrained the silly laughter on his face upon seeing Lin Dong, he would definitely look like an extremely menacing and powerful individual. Yo, not bad, you have improved quite a bit. Looks like you didn't waste the time spent in Dao sect, said little Martin with his eyebrows raised, after sweeping his eyes across Lin Dong's body. Lin Dong walked forward without paying attention to him and looked at Little Flame, before a somewhat astonishment expression rushed forth from within his eyes. He realized that Little Flame could currently match up to an 8 Yuan Nirvana stage expert. He he, he was personally taught by Grandpa Martin. Of course, he won't be weaker than you, said Little Martin with a self-satisfied smug after seeing the shocked expression on Lin Dong's face. His usual tone was still as infuriating as before. Not bad. Said Lin Dong patting the shoulders of Little Flame while nodding his head in satisfaction. Looks like it was right for Little Flame to follow Little Martin. If he had stayed in Dao sect, Little Flame would not have reached this level yet. It was all thanks to Second Brother's help. He brought me to quite a few places. Little Flame honestly and straightforwardly shook his head. This ominous tiger that was so savage and cruel that it caused anyone to be absolutely terrified, was actually behaving in such a silly fashion in front of Lin Dong. This caused Little Martin to be unable to bear as he covered his face and sighed in disappointment. Typically, Little Flame would always follow his lead, however, it was absolutely different from the implicit faith that he had in Lin Dong. Lin Dong gave a smile before finally looking at Little Martin and saying, How much of your strength have you regained? It shouldn't be a problem to deal with practitioners at advanced profound life stage, said Little Martin indifferently as an arc appeared on his bewitchingly beautiful face. Advanced profound life stage. Lin Dong faintly nodded his head. Senior teacher Uncle Chen Zhen should also be at this stage. Looks like during this period of time, Little Martin had indeed recovered quite a bit of his old powers. Why is there a girl with you? Why did you bring her here? I seemingly recalled that she didn't really fancy you, right? Said Little Martin with a little astonishment after his eyes suddenly landed on Ying Huanwan, who was not far behind Lin Dong. Looking at her appearance, he could still remember the attitude that she had shown to Lin Dong on that selection stage. Lin Dong tilted his head and shot a look at the young lady. At this moment she was still at a short distance away from them. Thinking about it, Lin Dong realized that she might have been frightened by the extremely contrasting combination of Little Martin and Little Flame. Upon seeing this, he could not resist and smiled. Normally within Dao sect, this lass was fearless. However, never would Lin Dong imagine that she would become so timid after coming out. Lin Dong called Ying Huan Wan over, before introducing her to them. When Little Martin found out that she was actually the daughter of the Dao sect sect master, a shade of amazement clearly flashed across his handsome face. Evidently, he had never expected that she had such a background. It was all thanks to her that I was able to borrow the Heavenly Phoenix Zither. Else, perhaps there may not be a show, said Lin Dong as he spread his arms. He he, looks like that little mistreats you pretty well, said the Little Martin with a smirk. Beside him, Ying Huan Wan's face turned red as she sent a sweet smile towards Little Martin. Her appearance was so fresh and pure that it made Lin Dong roll his eyes. Who is she acting for? It's good that you managed to obtain the Heavenly Phoenix Zither. It will save us quite a bit of trouble. Those damnable yellow furred monsters, wait till Grandma Martin breaks your heavenly sound array. I'll show you how I will deal with you all! exclaimed Little Martin with excitement as he brandished his hand. Tell me what is going on first, and what is the object that Little Flame discovered? Asked Ling Dong after rolling his eyes at Little Martin. Relax, that thing is definitely worth your trip here. What is it? Said Ling Dong as he raised his eyebrows. Little Martin gave a self-satisfied smile before a mysterious shade appeared within his eyes. In the next moment, he suppressed his voice before a soft whisper stealthily entered Ling Dong's ears. Earth Core Spiritual Brewing Saliva. As the five words gently floated into Lin Dong's ears, Lin Dong's pupils immediately contracted while Ying Huan Wan could not resist but release a startled cry. Earth Core Spiritual Brewing Saliva? A soft exclamation escaped from Ying Huan Wan's mouth. At the same time, there was a somewhat stunned expression on her pretty face. There were countless natural treasures in the world. These treasures were gifts from nature and they all possessed extremely mysterious powers. This so-called Earth Core Spiritual Brewing Saliva not only possessed the ability to improve one's strength, but more importantly, it also helped one to create a Yuan spirit. It was incredibly miraculous. It should be known that the formation of a Yuan spirit was an event that would only occur near the peak of the Nirvana stage. After all, only after one reached the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage, would the Yuan spirit chi within one's body gradually strengthen. Nonetheless, unless one was truly blessed one would still be unable to successfully form a Yuan spirit. In fact, 
most practitioners had to wait till they reached the mysterious life stage. Only by fusing Yuan power and mysterious life qi together, could they successfully form a Yuan spirit. However, all these complicated steps could be greatly simplified by this earth core spiritual brewing saliva. Therefore, there was no need to elaborate about its miraculous properties. Should news of such an object spread, it would definitely attract countless experts that wanted to attempt the mysterious life stage. The allure of forming a Yuan spirit was simply too overwhelming. Only by successfully forming a Yuan spirit, would one be able to escape from the shackles of one's physical body. Even if one's physical body was destroyed in the future, one would not immediately perish. As long as one had sufficient tricks and a powerful backer, recreating one's physical body was not impossible. You have actually found such an item. Even with Lin Dong's calmness, he could not help but narrow his eyes slightly at this moment while he muttered to himself. The strength of the Yuan spirit force was something that he had personally experienced. His dragon Yuan ring was formed by Yuan spirit force. Thanks to its power, he defeated Yao Ling and Wang Yan, opponents who were extremely difficult to deal with. Even though the Yuan spirit force was extremely powerful, the current Lin Dong was unable to create such a thing in his body. This was because only by stepping into the 7 Yuan Nirvana stage, would one's body begin to produce a small amount of Yuan spirit force. The current Lin Dong was still not at that stage yet. Hence, attempting to form an initial Yuan spirit now was probably an absurd idea. However, the appearance of this earth core spiritual brewing saliva head would slowly change such a whimsical thought into reality. Hey hey, are you interested? Little Martin laughed proudly as he looked at Lin Dong, whose eyes still contained some remnant shock. Such a treasure was not something that one could encounter so easily. Lin Dong smiled slightly before immediately nodding excitedly. Soon, the great sect competition would begin. Before that, he must raise his strength using every means possible. Judging from Ying Xuanzi's words, he could sense how powerful the Yuan Gate disciples were. Those so-called Three Little Kings were personally taught by the three great sect masters of the Yuan Gate. Although Lin Dong did not openly speak about it, he did feel a little pressured in his heart. After all, the other party not only had the advantage in numbers, but their quality was also top tier. On the other hand, amongst the younger generation disciples in their Dao sect, the only ones who could contend against them were Lin Dong, Ying Xiaoxiao and Wang Yan. Therefore, there was no reason for Lin Dong to give up on this earth core spiritual brewing saliva that was delivered to him. What are the creatures that are guarding the earth core spiritual brewing saliva? Lin Dong asked. There is an overlord in this 10,000 beast mountain range guarding it. That fellow is also a demonic beast and is a yellow golden ghost owl. Its strength is at the initial mysterious life stage. There are also some demonic beasts working under it. The strongest are his two generals, whose strength are around that of nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts. Little Martin rubbed his chin and said. Yellow golden ghost owl, initial mysterious life stage. Lin Dong was startled for a moment. He asked, it should not be too much of a problem for you, right? Little Martin's current strength was comparable to an advanced mysterious life stage practitioner. Since the yellow golden ghost owl was merely at the initial mysterious life stage, why couldn't he take care of the later? Didn't I mention that the fellow has some special tactics? Little Martin spoke helplessly. A human head owl. It is the owl sonic formation right? Ying Huan Wan's eyes suddenly flashed as she softly said. Little Martin looked at Ying Huan Wan with some shock. Clearly. He did not expect that this girl would actually be this intelligent. Merely after hearing the words human head owl, she had already deduced everything. Yes, that yellow golden ghost owl had spent quite a great amount of effort to groom over 10,000 human head owl beasts. These owl beasts specialize in sonic wave attacks. Additionally, due to the terrain of the demon sound mountain, the sky sonic formation, which is also called the owl sonic formation, has become extremely powerful. Even I am unable to break through. Little Martin nodded and said. 10,000. Lin Dong was utterly stunned by this number. This yellow golden ghost owl was truly willing to put in the effort. No wonder it was able to become the overlord of this 10,000 beast mountain range. Little Flame was originally training within this mountain range. A few days ago, the owl sonic formation was inactive and he had barged in by mistake. In the end, he discovered the earth core spiritual brewing saliva hidden within the demon sound mountain. However, this fellow was eventually discovered by that yellow golden ghost owl. That beast is truly vicious. Moreover, his strength clearly surpassed Little Flame, yet, he brought over a dozen subordinates to play with this foolish tiger. In the end, dozens of his bones were broken. If it was not because I eventually managed to hurry over, this foolish tiger would have been turned into roast meat. 
A sharp glint clearly appeared within Little Martin's eyes when he spoke until this point. He glared at Little Flame and scolded the latter in a resentful manner because the latter had failed to meet his expectations. Useless fellow. Little Flame scratched his head and gave Lin Dong a silly smile. This time around, however, Lin Dong had sensed a surging ferocity deep within the former's eyes. So ruthless huh? Lin Dong patted Little Flame. His face had quite a brilliant smile surfacing on it. From the side, Ying Huan Wan glanced at him. She knew that this fellow was truly pissed off. How shall we do it? Little Martin looked at Lin Dong and asked. What do you mean? Lin Dong knitted his brows. Soon after, he clapped his hands together and declared, Soak the demon sound mountain in blood. These words had just been spoken when a baleful aura that had been suppressed within Lin Dong's body finally erupted at this moment. That baleful aura was many times stronger than Wang Yan. I was waiting for those words. Little Martin curled his lips. His handsome face was immediately covered with a demonic aura. Beside them, Little Flame nodded immediately. That metal tower body of his had some brutalness spreading from it at this moment, causing one to feel palpitations in one's heart upon seeing him. Ying Huan Wan glanced at the trio as she quietly marveled, they are indeed brothers. Their ferocious auras appeared as though they had originated from the same source. Leave the owl sonic formation to me. Ying Huan Wan gently beckoned with her hand. A fiery red heavenly phoenix zither flashed and appeared in her hands. A shocking ripple spread from it. Even little Martin involuntarily threw his eyes over. At this moment, the young lady's hand was touching the zither string. She raised her head and smiled sweetly at Lin Dong. Can you do it? Lin Dong was a little worried. Ying Huan Wan's current strength might be at the 8 Yuan Nirvana stage, but that owl sonic formation was something that even little Martin could do nothing against. Everything has a weakness. The owl sonic formation is strong, but my heavenly phoenix zither is its Achilles heel. Ying Huan Wan spoke proudly. Hey hey, you are bold. This girl's age is similar to that girl Su Ruo, but her character is much tougher. Little Martin smilingly said. Su Ruo? Ying Huan Wan's eyes rotated a little. Her big eyes looked at Lin Dong. A friend. Lin Dong sensed that there seemed to be something not quite right with Ying Huan Wan's expression. However, he did not care. He merely casually replied before turning around to look at Little Martin. He said, let's go. We should head to the Demon Sound Mountain. Little Martin nodded. Without wasting any more time, his body moved, transforming into a ray of light that rushed towards the deep parts of this spacious mountain range. Lin Dong, Little Flame and Ying Huan Wan closely followed from behind. The group of four had quite a vast and mighty aura. Soon after Lin Dong's group traveled towards the deeper parts of the 10,000 Beast Mountain Range, some rushing wind sounds were being transmitted from the sky on the other side of the mountain range. A moment later, three figures came drifting over. The leader of the three was a long-haired old man wearing long brown robes. Both of his hands were placed behind him. His expression was indifferent and there was a faint but shockingly majestic aura being emitted from him. Behind the elder, were two men clothed in black and white respectively. The two of them appeared quite handsome. However, their eyes contained some haughtiness that was difficult to hide. Of course, from the ripples that were being emitted from their bodies of these two, they did indeed possess the rights to be this arrogant. Additionally, there was an insignia of a black sun on their chest. Black and white crisscrossed each other like yin and yang sinking and floating. This mark belonged to the strongest sect in the eastern Xuan region, Yuan Gate. Golden threads lingered around the edges of the badge, appearing extremely respectable. A person familiar with the clothing of the Yuan Gate would be aware that this badge was something only bestowed upon the strongest disciples from the eight divisions of the Yuan Gate. The top disciples from the eight divisions were also known as the eight soul generals. These two actually had this mark on them. While the direction that they were heading in was also the Demon Sound Mountain. The Demon Sound Mountain was situated at the deepest part of the 10,000 Beast Mountain Range. It was unusually steep and was covered with black trees known as Sound Tree. These trees were quite mysterious and they had the same effects as a loudspeaker and were able to magnify a sound to many times its original volume. Each and every moment, there would be a sharp sound being emitted from the entire mountain. Hence, this mountain was termed the Demon Sound Mountain. There was a stone hall standing at the top of the Demon Sound Mountain. The stone hall was somewhat dark red in color. Its fresh blood sediment-like color gave one an extremely pressurizing feeling. When one looked at the large hall, it was possible to see a dark golden-skinned middle-aged man seated on top of a dense white bone throne. That man's eyes were sunken. His mouth revealed a somewhat unusual shape, causing his face to appear extremely shady and insidious. Has the owl sonic formation been set up? 
The middle-aged man's shady eyes looked towards two figures in front of him before he asked indifferently. Sir, please relax. All the human head owls have moved out. Once anyone invades this place, the owl sonic formation will be activated immediately. Amongst the two of them, the man wearing a leopard skin parted his mouth and laughed. Sir, is that feminine looking man really that frightening? We have already hidden the demon sound mountain for a couple of days without going out. The other large man with a fierce face curled his mouth and involuntarily asked. Humphrey, that fellow might appear extremely fragile on the surface, but he has likely reached the advanced profound life stage. If we really end up fighting, even I am no match for him. That middle-aged man coldly chided. Had I known earlier, I would have directly crippled that large fellow that day. All these problems would not have appeared. That man wearing a leopard skin had a dark ruthlessness flashing over his eyes as he said. Sir, what should we do now? Don't tell me that we can only continue to hide in the demon sound mountain? The middle-aged man leaned against the backrest of his chair. A dense dark smile was lifted on his face, relax, Yuan Gate and I have some history. This time around, I have already sent a message and invited an elder. Once he arrives, that fellow will not be able to throw his weight around. Those two men quietly sighed in relief upon hearing these words. They were just about to speak when a hurried sharp cry was suddenly being transmitted from outside the large hall. The sharp cry had just been transmitted when the three people in the large hall had a change in expression. That middle-aged man suddenly got up. His body flashed and he rushed out of the large hall. After which, his eyes were shady as they looked towards the sky outside of the mountain. There were four figures suspended in the sky there. It's you again. Why won't you leave me alone? That middle-aged man's eyes were dark and gold as he stared at the handsome man amongst the four before speaking in a dense manner. Swoosh swoosh. At this moment, everyone within the mountain was alarmed. Immediately, waves after waves of rushing wind sound appeared. Soon after, many figures gathered and landed on the mountaintop one after another. This lineup is really quite grand. Lin Dong surveyed this demon sound mountain. His gaze swept over it before sensing that there were countless unusual fluctuations on the mountain. These fluctuations were extremely slight and there was a vague ear-piercing sonic wave being emitted. They were likely the human head owls that little Martin had mentioned. You have injured my brother. How can I let you off so easily? Yellow golden ghost owl, why don't you kill your two subordinates and I will forget about this matter. What do you say? Little Martin spoke with a twinkly smile. His smile contained a cunning dark chillness. Those two people standing behind the yellow golden ghost owl immediately had a momentary unnaturalness in their expressions when they heard Little Martin's words although their expressions were normal, their eyes involuntarily glanced at the yellow golden ghost owl's back. Do you really think that this king is so stupid? The yellow golden ghost owl's eyes turned chilly as he laughed coldly. You are right, I really thought you were so stupid. Little Martin laughed. His appearance was as though he wanted to anger the other party to death. You sharp tongue tongue. Wait until you have the ability to break my owl sonic formation before you speak. Otherwise, you will have to flee in shame like in the past. The yellow golden ghost owl's eyes were dark and cold. However, he was also aware that with his current strength, he would not be able to match up against little Martin in a head-on battle. Immediately, he waved his hand. The black trees in the entire mountain immediately swayed. Soon after, numerous dark and ugly demonic beast, which appeared to have a human head, climbed out. They covered the entire mountain and looked extremely frightening. Hoot hoot. These human head owls had just appeared when they extended their heads into the sound trees. After which, their sharp cries suddenly resounded over this entire place. Buzz buzz. Countless black sonic waves spread across the demon sound mountain in all directions. Finally, it became like a sound web that covered the entire mountain. The black sonic waves were just like numerous enormous black snakes that were slowly wiggling around this mountain. These black sonic wave might appear quiet but Lin Dong's group could sense a shocking destructive strength from within. If there was only one human head owls, it was hardly worth anything. However, there were currently 10,000 of them gathered together. Hence, their combined strength was quite frightening. Therefore, when Little Martin saw that enormous black sonic wave web, his eyes also hardened. Immediately, they quickly pulled back. I thought that you had a trick up your sleeve. It turns out you are here just to embarrass yourself. That yellow golden ghost owl involuntarily mocked when he saw little Martin retreating. His subordinates behind him also laughed along with him. However, just when they were laughing, they saw a young lady carrying a fiery red ancient zither walking out from their group. The young lady was wearing white clothes and she had a pretty face. A pair of clear bright eyes appeared like a lake while her black ponytail fell in front of her chest. 
that innocent manner caused those fellows on the demon sound mountain to be stunned. Most of those present were ruthless people, whose hands were dyed in blood and they had done many terrible things. Hence, their eyes could not hide an obscene expression when they saw such a juicy young lady. Soon after, whistling noises permeated the air as some foul language is spread. Ha, do you really that we will show mercy to such a juicy young lady? He he, we can capture her to serve you, sir. These fellows are actually here for the express purpose of delivering a woman ha. Huh? A rich killing intent involuntarily flashed across Lin Dong's heart when he heard the foul language that permeated the place. Immediately, his eyes were just like blades as they swept over the mountain, imprinting in his mind the faces of those who were laughing the hardest. Boom. Compared to Lin Dong's icy cold expression, Ying Huan Wan remained unusually calm. She directly sat down while suspended in mid-air. That fiery red ancient zither in her embrace was gently placed in front of her. After which, her seemingly flawless hands gently landed. Immediately, a phoenix cry resounded over this entire place in a loud and clear manner. Ow! The soft cry resounded over the place and the many foul languages that were present on the demon sound mountain suddenly halted. Even that yellow golden ghost owl also had a sudden change in expression while uneasiness surged within his heart. The phoenix cry resounded and a monstrous fiery red light swept out from Ying Huan Wan's body like a volcano. Finally, a crimson phoenix flapped its wings and rushed out from the heavenly phoenix zither amidst the zither music. It lingered in the sky above Ying Huan Wan's head. At the same time, a somewhat shocking fluctuation was being emitted from within the crimson phoenix's body. Pure Yuan treasure. The yellow golden ghost owl on the demon sound mountain looked at the crimson phoenix that lingered. His eyes immediately shrunk as he involuntarily cried out in shock. Correct. Too bad there is no prize. Ying Huan Wan raised her head. She smiled gently at the shocked yellow golden ghost owl. Immediately, her finger suddenly moved over the zither string. Ow. The crimson phoenix that lingered in the sky also let out a cry toward the sky. Its enormous wings were suddenly flapped. Immediately, a bright red sonic wave swept out. These phoenix cry also came into contact with the zither music that was being emitted from the heavenly phoenix zither. Finally, it appeared to transform into a monstrous flame that directly whistled towards the owl sonic formation that covered the demon sound mountain. Bang bang bang. The bright red fire sound wave swept out in all directions. Finally, it collided onto the owl sonic formation that was formed by 10,000 human head owls. Immediately, Lin Dong's group saw that the seemingly black large python-like sound wave collapsed almost instantly. It struggled and transformed into nothingness within the rising flame. That sound formation that thwarted Little Martin was torn apart almost instantly. The human head owls that covered the mountains also appeared to have met with their nemesis when their large formation was broken. Their bodies trembled before they emitted a bang and actually exploded into clusters of bloody fog. The yellow golden ghost owl and the rest, who were laughing in a proud and arrogant manner previously, had a drastic change in expression when they saw the human head owls exploding into a bloody mist. It is indeed worthy of a pure Yuan treasure. Lin Dong observed this scene with a rich shock in his eyes. This pure Yuan treasure's strength was actually this frightening. Although part of the reason was because they countered each other, Lin Dong was aware that if he was to fight with Ying Huan Wan when she had the heavenly phoenix zither, there was no guarantees that he would emerge victorious. It is your turn. Ying Huan Huan turned her head around. The pretty face, which was still calm earlier, appeared a little pale after she had used the heavenly phoenix zither. At the same time, an icy chillness spread. Immediately, she clenched her silver teeth and viciously said, Lin Dong, if you do not kill all those fellows who had mocked me previously, I will tell father and elder sister that you bullied me when I return. Lin Dong was instantly stunned speechless when he heard her words. Let's go. While Lin Dong was still startled, the cold laughter of little Martin rang out in his ears. In the next instant, an exceptionally majestic and boundless fluctuation instantaneously swept out from within little Martin's body. The fluctuation was like black clouds that enveloped the skies before turning into a thick pressure that slowly filled the area. Grandpa Martin will now let you guys laugh your fill. As the majestic aura swept outwards, a bloodthirsty look appeared on little Martin's handsome face. He had been extremely infuriated by the demonic sound mountains array over this period of time, hence, after breaking the array, his anger had thoroughly exploded. Chi. A purplish black glow that blotted the skies started screaming out of little Martin's palm as he directly patted down, smashing a few unlucky fellows into a fleshy pulp. In the next moment, eyes suffused with a purplish black glow locked onto the the golden ghost owl who was currently showing a rather ugly expression. You yellow furred devil, let's see where can you hide now. Little Martin said with a sinister smile. With a shift of his body, 
he directly appeared in front of the golden ghost howl like a specter, as a purplish-black spiral containing a frightening fluctuation exploded forward like lighting. In response to Little Martin's brutal offensive, the golden ghost owl cut a sorry figure as it promptly retreated. He was after all weaker than Little Martin by a whole level. In a direct one-on-one -on -one confrontation, it naturally was no match for the former. However, now that the formation had been broken, he had no place to escape, and could only brace himself and fight while hoping that the helpers from the Yuan Gate would be able to make it in time. Roar. When Little Martin attacked, Little Flame also suddenly raised his head and howled, causing his already sturdy steel tower-like body to inflate another fold. A scarlet glow started to appear and float on the surface of his body. This was obviously an extremely strong body-enhancing martial art. Bang! While his body continued to swell, Little Flame shot towards the demonic sound mountain like a cannonball with a stamp of his foot. With his scarlet eyes and ferocious appearance, there was no longer any trace of the previous simple and honest expression. You be careful. Upon seeing the two of them take action, Lin Dong did not hesitate any longer. After saying a single sentence to Ying Huan Wan, the green dragon wings surfaced once again on his back. He instantly transformed into a green flash and shot towards the demonic sound mountain. Swish. Lin Dong was like a ray of light as he shot towards the peak of the mountain. With a dragonified arm, he wielded the black tree as he created a path of carnage. Those whom he had remembered earlier had their bodies viciously swatted by the heavy black tree until they could only howl in pain due to their now bloodied bodies. Overall, only the higher echelons of the demonic sounds mountain were considered slightly strong. Although the golden ghost owl and the two great generals were capable of putting up a fight, the others were of hardly any use. Therefore when the Lin Dong trio killed their way towards the mountain like wolves and tigers, the fellows that had seemed fierce and malicious fled faster than rabbits, just like a beaten army in total collapse. Lin Dong smashed another previously dirty mouth fellow with a tree trunk, causing him to vomit blood as he was swatted away. Just as he was about to take another step, Lin Dong's gaze suddenly focused as his other hand instantaneously transformed into a green dragon arm. Immediately after, his hand clenched tightly into a fist as he sent a punch rumbling forward. Bang! In a flash, two fists that contained vigorous energies ferociously collided with each other. A visible energy ripple rapidly spread out, causing the dead leaves on the ground to be shaken and turned to dust. As the force dispersed, Lin Dong's body trembled faintly before he retreated half a step backwards. As for the person facing him, he stumbled and retreated multiple steps, before dispelling the strength that had entered his body. Raising his head, Lin Dong looked towards the person in front of him. With a body covered in a robe made of leopard pelt, he had a tall and sturdy physique with a deep scar on his forehead, making him look quite sinister. Moreover, the unrestrained fluctuation from him caused Lin Dong's eyebrows to raise. Given such a fluctuation, he should have already reached the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage, however it's substantially weaker than Wang Yan. Son of a bitch, you killed so many people from my demonic sound mountain. Leopard grandfather will wring your head off and turn it into my piss bucket. The man wearing a leopard pelt stared at Lin Dong with a fierce and sinister expression on his face. Superficial Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. Lin Dong sent a smile towards the man in a leopard pelt while shaking his head. Although the person before him was at the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage, from the previous exchange, Lin Dong could feel that he was even weaker than Yao Ling, let alone comparing him to Wang Yan. An obstinate brat, look and see if your father won't rip you to shreds. Without another word, the face of the leopard pelt wearing male turned chilly. Vigorous Yuan power rushed forth from within his body. In the next moment, he stamped his foot and shot towards Lin Dong. Swish. A swift and fierce fist wind of the leopard pelt wearing male swept towards Lin Dong, who immediately grabbed his arm with a green dragon arm. You still dare to mess with me with such puny strength? Said Lin Dong with a faint smile. His gaze suddenly turned chilly as boundless energy erupted like flood waters. With a ferocious tug, he caused the leopard pelt wearing male to directly lose balance. In the next instant, Lin Dong flung his leg out, which viciously landed on the man's chest. Bang! Under the gazes of the surrounding demonic sound mountain men, the leopard pelt wearing man was flung hundreds of meters away, smashing trees into dust as he crashed into them along the way. After experiencing fights with formidable Nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts like Yao Ling and Wang Yan, the leopard pelt wearing male truly made Lin Dong somewhat sigh in regret. Although they were all of the same stage, the difference between the strong and the weak was was very clear. Lin Dong truly did not know how this fellow trained to such a level. Roar. In the distance, the leopard pelt wearing male struggled and stood up. Wiping the fresh blood off from the corners of his mouth, his eyes started to turn scarl. Soon after, 
He raised his head and let out a howl. Instantly, his body started to rapidly squirm, before finally transforming into a giant golden leopard. Bringing along a foul wind, he maniacally pounced at Lin Dong. Lin Dong calmly watched the giant golden leopard flying towards him without the slightest intention of withdrawing. His arms transformed into dragon arms, as he grasped the black tree and gave a ferocious swing. Bang bang bang. The surrounding demonic sound mountain men watched the intense battle between the giant golden leopard and Lin Dong. Yet, the leopard was unable to gain any upper hand, and was being forced to retreat time after time. Turning their gazes, they looked at the other fights taking place. The golden ghost owl and the other gray general was also being forced into an extremely sorry state. Such a situation was not good. A few of the men from the demonic sound mountain looked at each other and were thinking of stealthily fleeing away. When the trees topples the monkeys will scatter. From the situation in front of them, it was obvious that they could no longer hold the demonic sound mountain. The entire demonic sound mountain had currently sunk into an extreme state of chaos as rumbling and intense sounds transmitted endlessly all around. The entire mountaintop shook as if it was shattering and crumbling as a bloody sword into the skies. As the demonic sound mountain descended into chaos, three figures appeared in a flash on the peak of a faraway mountain, while their gazes stared indifferently at the demonic sound mountain. Hey, looks like the demonic sound mountain has already been broken by other people. That bastard is truly useless, can't even endure just this bit. These three were naturally the three from the Yuan Gate that had appeared previously. As for the person speaking, it was the handsome man in white. He smiled and said as he looked at the demonic sound mountain that reeked of blood. Senior Marshal Uncle Jiang, do we take action and help? Another man dressed in black said with a grin on his face. Let a few more die before we take action. In front of the two men stood an old man dressed in brown. With an indifferent tone, he said, there is an earth core spiritual brewing saliva hidden within the demonic sound mountain. That block had assumed that no one knew about it, and even invited me over. Since we have came here, let's also that that treasure away. This kind of heavenly treasure should be given to our Yuan Gate. Xia Yan, go take care of all those people that have fled the demonic sound mountain in secret, I don't want the news here to spread. Relax senior marshal uncle Jiang, none of them will escape. The male in black replied. With a smile, he proceeded to transform into a ray of light as he headed into the forest. Shen Yun, go and take the zither from the hands of that girl. Ha ha, I truly can't believe that I am actually be able to see a pure Yuan treasure here. Looks like even the heavens are helping our Yuan gate. The old man dressed in brown commanded with a casual smile as he pointed towards Ying Huan Wan who was standing outside of the demonic sound mountain. Yes. The male in white gave a reply while giving a faint smile. As he gazed into the distance, he gave a frivolous smile, a little beauty a, eh? let me handle this. Following the appearance of his voice, his figure had already disappeared in a strange manner. As the two beside him left, the old man dressed in brown turned his gaze towards the top of the demonic sound mountain, where a little Martin and the golden ghost owl were ferociously battling. A person of profound life stage, ha, looks like tidying up this matter will be a little troublesome.